Hello there, I'm Ayat Zine, also known as James. Today, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. I'm going to show you around why I own uh, GTA 5 for the PC, but haven't done anything with it yet, haven't featured it on my channel. There is a huge problem with uh, switchable graphics, AMD's switchable graphics engine. If you've got a laptop and you have an AMD card, it doesn't matter if there is an Intel card in there as well, I mean, built in or on the uh, CPU die, you're screwed, you're not going to be able to launch it. Funnily enough, the GTA 5 engine is so scalable that you can actually get 10 or 12 FPS out of the Intel 4000 card, which stuns me. I'm just really surprised. I mean, the Intel 4000 struggles with Windows Aero, so whatever. We'll, we'll, so I'm going to show you around how the game looks currently to me, and I'm also going to show you the problem. So let's um, get started, shall we? Let's go to the desktop. Right, I'll get the recording window out of the way. This is the switchable graphics application monitor. Here you can select either high performance, which obviously is what we want, this means using the dedicated graphics card, or you can select power saving, where you only use the Intel card, right? So the first thing I'm going to try is what it should work as. Both high performance, it's already applied. We've got the Windows Task Manager to watch to see if it's actually doing anything when we try and launch it. And here we've got GTA 5 with no launch options set. That's going to be important later because we're going to need to set some in order to get it to launch on the Intel 4000 card at all. Uh, luckily, someone, a Redditor posted a thread where they've worked out some launch options to get it to run. I'll show you that in a minute, right? First things first, let's launch GTA 5. We're not gonna play online, we just wanna play the single player at all. I mean, preferably at as high speed as possible, but you know, that I'll take whatever I can get at this point. I, I, I do understand that AMD and Rockstar both know this is a bug and both know that yeah, they're working on the problems. But until then, you know, I bought, bought it about three or four days after launch day thinking, ooh, I can make some cool videos and yeah, not a chance. So as you can see, the game is launched. The launcher is now eating our memory as hard as it can, as well as the game. And nothing has happened. This is the summation of what happens when you launch the game. It's now up to 130 meg on that one, it's up to geez, 130 on there. Obviously OBS eats memory for breakfast, that's what it does, but it generally does stay enough out of the way that it's not a problem. This is not a representation of OBS getting in the way. But literally these two have now just stalled. They're not the launcher is up to 130k and is using point you know, 1% of the CPU. GTA 5 never gets above 25% of the CPU for some reason. Obviously, it's running some kind of single-threaded. And here we go, here's the error. Now this is just what pops up. It eventually gives up and goes, I don't know, because clearly it's trying to find the um, dedicated card, but probably just accessing whatever is the first card, and that's causing a conflict of some kind. People have had uh, They've found they can work it if they set the game to use power saving and then set the catalyst control panel to automatically switch between power saving and high performance on the power. So then they unplug the power so that everything's power saving and then the game's running at... No, the game runs... You set the game to run at high performance, but then it ha it's launched at power saving because we know that works. And while it's launching, they plug it in so that the game launches on the power saving card and then transfers automatically. The timing's very hard. It's very silly, but it apparently works for some people in some situations. Other people have found all sorts of other weird and wonderful hacks that seem to work. This is the crash error we're getting. It's... Uh, well, obviously, it's with GTA 5. It's an app crash. And then here's the sort of technical details. I've already posted these to Rockstar in a ticket. If this can help them at all, I don't know if it can. Probably they already know what they're doing. I mean, Max Payne 3 worked on this computer fine. So I don't, you know, that's actually an earlier version of this same engine. This engine works perfectly scalably. So I have no idea why it doesn't work. It just must have been a bug when they were um, running the code for switchable graphics, maybe 8. AMD gave them the wrong driver build, maybe they were using wrong included library, I don't know. But anyway, this is the problem. So there is a way, now you can launch in safe mode, I'm not going to launch in safe mode, it does the same thing. I don't really want to point that out. What we can do is get it to run on the Intel 4000 card. We set it both to power saving, which is the Intel card, click apply, and we don't need that anymore. Obviously this bit's still hanging around, there we go, got rid of that. 
Right, we're not going to need to watch it, hopefully, because it's going to run. So this time we go to properties, set launch options, and these are the launch options that seem to work. There's a Redditor who posted the thread on it, said this is how you get the 4000 card to work. Seems to work, so here we go. Um, ignore different video card, force DirectX 10, because the 4000 doesn't have DirectX 11, and then uh, GPU count. I don't know what GPU count does, so the only thing I can think is it makes it um, recheck the number of GPUs and see if it's on the right one. Whatever, that seems to work. All right, so now we give the game a try. We'll close Steam out of the background. So we're on the power saving card, so that's the Intel 4000, and we're running with launch options in order to make it DirectX 10 only, which the Intel 4000 can handle, and specifically the correct GPU we know to work. So here we go, and we get a window. Didn't get a window before, well, now we've got a window. It's only gonna run at about 10 to 12 FPS, maybe a little bit higher, at um, 720p, or 1280 by 720, um, for those that know monitor sizes. And as you can see, it's extremely framey. It's gonna be more so because of... Ob Hello again. Right, now, as you can see, we're actually in the game. You can see there's quite a lot of tearing. It's terribly framey. But it is actually, you can maneuver around, you can playable, and this is on the Intel 4000 card. That means that the card that a lot of people have in their laptops, my wife has it in her laptop that she only uses for the internet. But it actually, I can't believe how good this looks for the card it's using. Let's put it that way. Now, what I don't understand is why I can't use the better card, because even with the only slightly, I mean, a Radeon 7600, no, 7670 HD mobile thing, you know. Instruction menu is now available. Yeah, whatever, I'm not interested. Uh, but even with these, you know, better card, it is, it's reasonable. It powers Dark Souls fairly well, even while recording. So, I mean, it's a decent card. I cannot believe how well this works. And if we go outside, we can still... It's as scalable. Outside is just fine. Look, still framing as hell, but I mean, I, how in the hell have they done this? The autosave, yeah, whatever, come on. Busy. But how have they done this? How have they made a game that looks as this good on an Intel 4000 card? It didn't look this good on my 360. I've got still got the 360 version. I've got the box with the metal tin, whatever that was. But... Yeah, I, I just can't believe it. It just looks incredible. I mean, granted, okay, this isn't dual 980s or any of those kind of things. But it's still pretty impressive, from my perspective at least. Right, so that about wraps up. As you can see, it is framey as hell. That's pretty much nothing to do with the recording. It runs this slowly most of the time anyway. So, yeah, I hope this gives you some idea of the problems people are having. This is... I guess by Rockstar standards playable because I'm in the game it hasn't crashed it is running but I do understand that they are working on a fix for this issue um, I have also put in a, a bug with AMD so I've registered with both those people so that to try and give someone the idea that we do want this game fixed and so we can actually play some proper GTA do some craziness so thanks very much for watching I hope this was at least instructive if not um informative well if yeah you know what i mean um and uh, you know if you want to see my other videos don't forget to subscribe you can like or dislike this video you can tell me are you having problems with the amd intel combo because i think it's it's quite common i think it's anyone with that combo let me know in the comments or tweet at i at zine i will be listening to that very closely on this issue especially um thanks ever so much for watching and i hope to see you next